Hi, welcome to Tin Man Creations. My name's John, and today I'm going to show you how to make a foil sculpture. Now the sculpture is going to be a swan. So all you need to do is get some foil and give it right. a go. What I'm going to do first is rip this into a few sections. So, I ripped it. I ripped it again. These two pieces, I'll put them over to the side. This piece, I'm going to twist it and crumble it into a shape of a spoon. A serving spoon to be precise. So crumple it at the top. And leave the base similar to a serving spoon. Now this is going to be the base for the swan. With the top half, I will make it into the bendy neck of the swan. There you go. I'm now doing the beak of the swan. So now, already, in a few seconds, you can see the outline of the swan. Remember these two pieces? One of the pieces, crumple it up into a small egg shape. Egg shape. Put the egg shape into the base of the swan, or into the spoon, shall I say. Wrap it round and make it twisty at the end because this is going to be the tail of the swan. Once it's securely in there, get the other piece and wrap it around. So now you can see that all we need to get to complete the swan is its wings. Get some more foil. Remember this other piece? Now rip it in half. With this piece, underneath the base, you will wrap it round but not too tightly you will then visualize the wings and try to get them as accurately placed as possible all I'm doing is folding and manipulating the foil into a shape of the wings. Now that I've done that, I will now focus on the head of the swan. Simply, now that I've made the S shape and the small beak shape of the swan, we'll get another piece of foil. I will also rip this not in half because I don't need as much foil but just to there. I'll rip it in half again. So now we only have this piece of foil. This piece of foil is going to wrap around the head. Now remember you must try and keep the shape of the head that you had outlined with the foil. And there you have it, the head. Now, as you can see, the swan is almost complete. But what we do to make it a little bit more harder 
and not as flimsy is wrapping in foil. The last bit of foil underneath and try to wrap most of the actual sculpture in it. You might need to push it out of shape to do this. So, and the good thing about foil is because it's so flexible, you can push it out of shape. Once it's completely wrapped, you can push it back into shape. As I said, when you have more time, you can keep on manipulating the foil till you've got the desired effect. What I normally do is when I make one swan, I also make another one. So I do think swans need to have friends. And babies. So there you have it. Your first swan.